Having a USB-based RC controller opens up a number of flight simulator programs to both new and veteran RC pilots. Here's a quick look at a neat, free drone sim that you can fly with Detrim's Gavin 6A 6-channel six transmitter or just about any USB RC flight controller to help you build your basic drone flying skills. You may have seen my video on using Dynam's Gavin 6A transmitter with the venerable Flying Model Simulator software to help you master the basics of flying RC airplanes. In this video, we're going to show you another cool product to allow you to master those same basic flying skills, except this time with quads or drones. This very cool sim software is called FPV Freerider and it's available for most operating systems. As you'll see in this quick video overview, it also has a nice free demo version so you can try it before you buy it. And oh, by the way, it's pretty inexpensive, as in just under $5. There's also an advanced version that also has a free demo that includes a toolkit that allows you to build your own high quality racing courses in your virtual world along with expansion packs with additional race environment. That program is only $10. Small racing drones are hugely popular, and it's not unusual to find groups of racers in the local area who set up drone race courses in parks or parking lots and even indoors. These little racers are really fun to watch. In most cases, the pilots flying these racers use first-person view or FPV equipment which allows them to fly the drone as if they were sitting inside it. By using the free demos or the low-cost full versions of FPV Freerider or Freerider Recharged and a USB RC controller, you can make the transition to drone racing in the computer for next to nothing. I'll link to the FPV Freerider Classic and Freerider Recharged web pages in the video description below along with links to the BitCo hobby site where you can check out the USB controllers or USB connection cable if you already have the Gavin 6 transmitter or are planning on getting one of Dynam's smart ready-to-fly airplane packages. With a USB controller, you'll simply connect the controller cord to your computer using the USB cable. If you're using the Gavin radio, you'll need to turn it on for it to work. A bit of a disclaimer. The demo copy of the software says it slows down the drone's reaction by design and, since I'm not a big drone racer, focus on the visual more than the flying. I still need a bunch of practice on my drone flying skills. Additionally, the demo packages don't set up a quick link on your desktop. You'll need to remember where the executable file is or save it to your desktop. After a couple of flights, you'll likely want to purchase the full version of either the Classic or Recharged Edition. Let's take a quick look at how to set up the software once loaded and get a sense of how these drones fly. Okay, here we can see the uh, Freerider um, opening splash page to their uh, Freerider Classic version. You can see you can click the Buy Now button for $4.99 and it gives you a little bit of a description of what's going on with the, uh, the Freerider uh, simulator software, including some screenshots of some of the uh, environments that you can fly in. So when you scroll down, you can see the purchase information. You can see $4.99 and the various operating systems that the software supports, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, it's also available on your smartphone, as you can see on the Google Play Store. Then you can also see the downloads for the, um, the demo, and that's what we're going to be looking at here in just a second. Now, the Freelander Recharged uh, is uh, 10 bucks, you see, $9.99, and uh, it's got some of the same stuff, but it's got different graphics and uh, uh, to include self leveling and aerobatic mode where you can flip your little drones around and really fling them around if you've seen guys do that. 
as well as um, being able to build those other environments uh, that are just customized to your use. As you scroll down, you can see the purchase information for this. And again, you can see it's Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, and uh, you can do a download here too. And so you click the download button and download it into your machine. So here we've got it downloaded into the machine and you can see it's a, um, a zip file and I've put it in a separate uh, folder so I didn't get mixed up with all my other downloads. So let's step live here and then we can go through the, the unzip and install process. So here we have the FPV Freerider recharged uh, demo in a separate folder. I moved it from the download folder. And so we're just going to open it and we're un going to unzip it into the folder where it is. So uh, we'll get this unzipped. Do we want to use a cloud? No, we don't want to do that. So we're going to get out of this. Uh, these are what we want to do it. And this is what we want to, the action we want to take. So we want to unzip it. So we'll just click actions. So after dismissing the, the WinZip, we see that we've got the zip file there, but now we've got an executable file. And so that's what we're going to look at. So we'll open the free writer executable there or folder. And there's where we find the, uh, the install. And so we're just going to run, double click the application to install it. And it comes up and this again is the demo. And so a couple of things I want to point out to you. You can select the graphic quality here. You can select volume. You can um, work your USB controller, which we're going to do here in just a second, and, um, calibrate the controller. And then you can see there are six um, components here. Five of them are um, environments in which you can fly. And one of them is uh, one where you can do some editing in the environment that you want to fly. So for a $10 program, you get quite a lot here, as well as uh, a number of additional um, packs, they call them, where you can uh, add to the settings that, uh, at which you fly. So at this point, I want to calibrate my controller. And uh, I want to do that to, to give it a sense of uh, the software sense of where the control sticks are. So I'm going to click Calibrate Controller. And that's going to tell me to center all the sticks, including the trim. So I've got them all centered. I'm going to click OK. And then it says hold my left stick uh, to the left while clicking OK. So I'm going to, is there a little picture of it right there? So I'm going to move my stick to the left and click OK. Then I'm going to hold my left stick up and click OK. Then I'm going to move my control stick, my right control stick uh, to the left and click OK. I'm going to take it all the way up and click OK, and now I'm done. And so at this point, you can see that I can, I've got my controls centered. I've got the little circle here. Uh, left and right on the left-hand screen gives me, um, you know, power and, uh, and yaw. And you can see that moving um, with the little drone in the center there. And then when I move the uh, stick on the right, uh, left and right, you can see it tilt or it can start to move up and down because I can do some aerobatics with this as well. And so I want to get this all trimmed up. And so uh, it just tells me that I can um, test the controls and if it behaves as expected, just press OK. And it did behave as I expected, so I'm going to press OK. Now I'm back to the main screen again. I've got my controller all selected. And in this demo that I'm using, the only choice I have is desert. So let's go to the desert. So in this case, I'm uh, just kind of starting off. I'm going to uh, use some yaw and turn myself around, see exactly where I am, get a sense of what this environment is. Lower the the throttle and I'll descend to see where I am. Turn back around. So you can get a good sense of, of uh, how to, to fly your, your drone. When I get to the right place, I'm going to see uh, some things that I can fly through and, uh, and I'm even going to have a, a place to fly through some, some hoops so I can practice my racing. So let's change out of this and go to the other view so you get a sense of what that looks like. 
So here I am, uh, I clicked on the first person view button, which toggles it back to a uh, typical RC view. And so now you can see my little drone uh, sitting on this bench uh, next to this, looks like a Toyota or a Land Rover there. And so I'll add some power and I can fly my drone this way and again use the the various controls I've got it out away from me there are ways let's see if I can get it back oops doesn't look good <laughs> but you can have a chance to see the uh, the environment that you're uh, uh, flying in and you can kind of see the uh, the, the various barricades or obstacles that you can use to, to fly around in to um, learn how to fly your drone, keep it in close. A little loop there. See, uh, the simulation worked very well there. A nice uh, backward loop. Let's see what a forward loop looks like. Again, you can um, fly the, the drone uh, pretty easily and get a chance to see see how this works and you've got the lights on the drone and the various other things that uh, help make flying the drone uh, pretty easy. Again, I'm not a big drone pilot uh, but with this software I clearly could develop some skills uh, uh, and clearly I need to work on landing. Okay, so here we are in the basic free rider version. So in this case, we've got um, six different um, areas and where we can fly. The only one that's available to us in the demo is the desert. We've got our graphics set, set to high. We've got our audio set uh, where we want to hear it coming either from your speakers or your headphone. And we're going to be using this USB controller. So let's go to the desert. Now, in this case, we have self-leveling off leveling on we've got the rates on low because I'm not a big drone pilot so I'm going to go slow and we're in camera view now if we wanted to go to first person view um, we could switch back and forth so this is the view from the lens of the camera on the drone and then this is the view of the um, drone from your position as the pilot so let's start that way so we get a chance to see what the controls do with the drone We'll add power and bring it up. Remember, self-leveling is on. We'll get a chance to get it to fly. If you want to use yaw to turn it, using the left stick, you can rotate. And then you can tilt it to the left or the right, move sideways. Using your right stick. And then you can move forward. by pushing forward on the right stick or back, pushing backward on the right stick. So let's bring it down so we can see where we are. Get a chance to see what it looks like for our orientation. And so you can see that we can fly through these um, hoops that are set up, which is very popular for uh, drone racing. And we can just fly this thing around a little bit. I'm gonna go back and change the view here and uh, we'll see what that looks like. So now we're in first person view. You see the little demo notice at the bottom that says things are scaled down just a little bit. And so this time we can add power. And then we can fly through our fly through our various uh, hoops here and just kind of work it around. So pretty good graphics, uh, pretty good controls, a great basic simulator. And if you're doing the demo here in this desert view, you're doing it for free. Uh, although the uh, program itself 
the free rider at $4.99 or the free rider recharge with base, more basic tools and uh, other flying areas uh, for $9.99, they're still a bargain. Spending some time with a good simulator is a great way to develop and improve your skills in many areas. That's doubly true with these RC flying simulators and both these packages are very economical way to hone your drone racing skills using a transmitter or controller you may already have. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below the video to let me know it was helpful to you. Also, consider subscribing to the rcplaneviews.com channel on YouTube. Click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.